What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Is anybody hanging out yet? Uh, I'm here today, I'll, I'll read your messages here in a second, but I'm actually here today to do an unboxing. And what I have, if you kind of see from the title there, I have a package I want to open up. I'm trying to keep it as much a secret as possible. But the idea was I'm out of breath carrying it into the room. It's pretty heavy. Give me a second. Anyway, it's sitting right here. It's not the Cali box in the background. It's actually this right here. Let's see if I can even get it on the table. Oh, it's, it's pretty heavy and it's fairly large. I've not opened it yet. It's absolutely killed me not to open this box yet. And I'm almost certain none of you can guess what it is. Now the idea is, is I've always tried to make this channel as fresh as possible. And what I mean by that is I just want to do new things. I want to do things that most people don't do. Mark, what's up? Guys, how's it going? Uh, but I want to continue with that trend. So what I've done is I, I want to do more course vlogs. I want to do more things interactive on the course. So what I've got here is hopefully something that's gonna make my course vlogs and that interaction a little bit more interesting. So, I'm gonna open this box here in one second, but before I do, I just wanna mention that I've waited a long time for this, and I'm really looking forward to it, I'm very excited. So, uh, should I open it up? Should I open this box up? Robot push cart, you're not far off. Uh, like I said, the idea is to make the vlogs a little more interesting uh, because in all honesty, I almost bought a drone. I was on DJI's website. I had the Mavic loaded up. I was ready to purchase a drone and I canceled it at the last second to buy this because this inspired me and I've always been about making content that inspires me and this just, I just had a billion ideas rushed to my head as soon as I thought about purchasing this so I didn't hesitate a moment longer and I bought it. So let's open it up. How about that? <laughs> Super game improvement irons? No, it's not that. I don't even know how to do this on camera because this box is so huge. Let's flip it this way. You guys good? Can you see the box? Paige Sporanic in a box. Nope, not that. That would help the channel though, tremendously. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Let's open it up. No idea how it's packaged in here, so it might take a second to unbox the box. So I promise I'll get to you guys' messages here in a second, but I just want to open this up. Oh my goodness. All right, here it is. Let's see if I can, I gotta set it on the ground. I'm sorry, it's too heavy to pull out. Eesh. It's a one wheel. <laughs> okay, so. The reason I bought a one wheel is uh, it's awesome and I thought that this would be a perfect way to do the course vlogs and make them a little bit more interesting but in all realness it's just because I wanted to ride one and I think that they're going to be, uh, they're gonna be, it's going to be fun. But the idea is I want to make this the official golf cart of Beverly Hills. I want to take this and, and, and ride around and play golf and, and put the my golf clubs on my back and like I said I have a lot of ideas for content uh, revolving around this so I think that uh, it would be pretty cool it's an and for those of you who don't know what one wheel is it's a it's like an all-terrain uh, skateboard you know I don't want to call it a hoverboard because it's on a wheel so that seems like not the proper term for it but it's an all-terrain basically electric skateboard that uh, balances on this one wheel system and you can ride it anywhere you can ride it in the sand you can ride it in the woods, you can ride it on a golf course, and that's the idea, is to take this out and to play golf with it. It's, uh, they're made in the United States, they're made in California, and it's kind of a new startup company, uh, they started like two years ago, but the idea is to play golf with the one wheel. I want to take this with me to like every course I play now, and like I'm not going to play unless they let me on with the one wheel, so put the, the, the golf clubs on the back and, and play golf with this gem. It goes... It goes 20 miles an hour and it travels, I think, seven miles on a single charge. It only takes 20 minutes to charge it. So I think you could uh, play some fast golf with it. You're going to put an eye out with this thing. <laughs> Drunk purchase? No, man. This is the most sober idea I've ever had in my life. Uh, my, I, I do a lot of outdoor stuff. 
with my kids and, and we like to go on bike rides and, and we ride scooters and stuff like that. So yeah, this is kind of gonna, you know, tie the two in. For me, this is a way to get the youth interested in the game. You know, you have people that ride skateboards, that ride longboards, that, that uh, you know, BMX, that do that kind of, you know, interaction like snowboarding. And this is a way to tie them into the game of golf. Hopefully grow the game because that's really the idea is to appeal to a broader audience and make sure that we're inviting people to come play this sport as opposed to turning them off. So this is kind of that, you know, push in that direction. Let's get new people interested and show them that you can take one of these uh, gems out to the golf course and play golf and have a fun time riding it around. So anyway, lots of videos to come uh, featuring this as far as me riding it around. It's not an endorsement. I, I paid for this. Uh, I bought this myself and one wheel really, uh, I don't really think they're that interested in me. So, but I think I can make some cool things with that and make it happen. I have Scuba Steve on record stating that if he can ride one, he's going to buy one. So I think that might be a video all on its own of me teaching my dad how to ride this. I don't even know if I can ride it yet. So we're going to, we're going to do some videos, uh, doing that. And, uh, that's it. That was the unboxing. This. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not that exciting for you guys, but I'm like super stoked for it. What's up? How are you guys doing? Tyler, how are you? Hit the ball off of it. I'll try. I'm not going to not try. Can you deck? Can you deck hand holding golf shoes? I don't know, man. I think, I think that you could wear golf shoes on that. I mean, I don't think it would be, we'd have any problems with that. Drunk golf goggles on the one wheel. You guys are going to get me in trouble now because I feel like that's a good idea, but I, I feel like I shouldn't do that, though. Uh, Carson, how's it going? Does Ace know? He doesn't know yet, and he will never know. Uh, David, what's up, dude? Okay, anywho. So, you guys watching the PGA Championship? Now that the unboxing is done. Uh, you guys been watching the tournament at all? I got about... Three more minutes to kind of hang out and talk. I just wanted to share this with you because I've been so excited. Jesse, thanks for the support. Appreciate it. <laughs> I need to share how I verified this with my missus. If you guys must know, uh, my wife actually suggested that I buy this because I first noticed this on a couple of YouTubers' vlogs. Uh, Casey Neistat did it a, a couple, like a year and a half ago. Um, and there were some a uh, couple others in there that featured this and I was like that's really cool But I didn't have, I couldn't think of a practical use for it But then I was like, you know, why not feature this in the vlog? It's like what would you guys rather see? Would you rather see drone b-roll footage or would you rather see? Me wiping out on this thing because that's gonna happen But I mean really this this makes it more interesting for me And I think it makes it more interesting for you guys because I, I like I said drone footage to me yeah, it adds a little bit of appeal, but you know, at the end of the day, it's just it's not my main camera, and I didn't see the you know point in dropping a thousand dollars on something like that when I could ride this around. My unicycle, you know what? It is kind of a unicycle. I now that I think about it, it's it's like a a unicycle skateboard. That's what I would. That's what that's going to be the classification. What is it? Uh, this is a one wheel for you guys who just joined. I'll go through it one more time. This is a, a unicycle skateboard, but it's motorized. It goes 20 miles an hour or 19 miles an hour. It goes for up to seven miles on a single charge. It's kind of self balancing, but it's all terrain. It goes everywhere. And I'm going to use this for my vlogs, put my golf clubs on my back and ride this around as opposed to getting the golf cart. Uh, and cause I don't like riding a golf cart and doing vlogs. I'd rather walk. But walking takes a lot of time. This should help speed it up. And plus, it's just stupid fun. Look how fun this thing looks. I'm going to have a great time with it. So, where was I at? PGA Championship. What do you guys think of the PGA Championship so far? I know I made the prediction that Jordan Spieth was going to win. Uh, and he's still, he's, he's up there. But right now, I'm looking at it on my computer. I'm not just staring off into space. Kevin Kisner, he's tearing it up right now. What do you guys think? What, what are your... What are your uh, midway predictions right now? Ooh, I better turn off that audio before I get in trouble. So, ride it through the projects. It's, can. can ride it anywhere. 
Hello from the UK, Charles, what's up? Weird science for you while wearing a bra on your head. <laughs> uh, I love doing these unboxings with you guys because I hope that you guys share the same excitement about weird things like I do. I love opening up. Um, what's the cut line? I don't know what the cut line is. I have the audio turned off right now. And have you guys been watching via live stream? Because I feel like the interface of the PGA Championships live stream has been way worse than like the Masters, the Open Championship, and the U.S. Open. Let me know what you guys think. Get Randy to ride it. I will. I'll do a video of me riding. I'm going to do a video of me teaching my dad how to ride this because he he said that if he can ride it, he will buy one, and it will be the official chariot of Beverly Hills. We'll ride this while we play our course vlog there. Hopefully we can make that happen. Am I going to use it for every round? Every round possible. If, if I go to a golf course from now on, this is going to be in my trunk fully charged. I'll go into the clubhouse and I'll say, hey, will you let me ride this one wheel while I play? And if they say no, I'll go somewhere else. Got to have Ace review it. <laughs> Ace can't handle the one wheel. Uh, can it go a full round of golf? Uh, according to them, you're talking about full run time. It can go for seven miles, so that it turns off while you're not riding it. So while I'm hitting a shot, it's not using any energy. Uh, it charges in 20 minutes, and you have about seven miles that you can cover on this one wheel. It's the one wheel plus. I'm sorry, I keep saying one wheel. It is the plus. There was a version out before this. Uh, this is the newer one because it had a better range, and they increased like the stability on it and just the overall performance because I need as much of that as I can possibly get. Uh, Golfaholics. I would love to do a course vlog with Golfaholics. If we could use their production of quality, you know, I love their 4K, I love their, their camera stabilization that they use. If we could do a production value course vlog with their style, and we added a one wheel, dude, forget about it. It's a uniboard. Uniboard, I like that. One wheel? Well, I'll talk to one wheel. We'll, we'll see if we can get uniboard. Can you get it in South Africa? I think it ships all the way throughout the United States. See, I'm not like a spokesperson. I'm not endorsed by One Wheel. I'm just doing this because I'm genuinely excited about writing this thing. But I think they ship worldwide. I mean, you do have to pay, I imagine, shipping extra to get it, you know, wherever. But uh, they're, they're, like I said, they're made in Santa Cruz. Oh, right there. One Wheel, Santa Cruz, California. They are made there. It was a startup company. They just had a good idea and they wanted to do it. Uh, Steven, love your videos. What's in the Callaway box? Do you guys want to see what's in the Callaway box back here? I guess I, I didn't even think about that being in the shot there, but would, would you guys like me to open that up? I just got that too. What do you think? Maybe? Anybody? <laughs> no, not really. Quentin! Guys, Quentin's here. Everybody, uh, type in at Quentin and send him a message, uh, tell him, uh, he sucks. Quentin, did you see what's in this? Did you see this? What do you, Did you see it? We'll get Quentin to ride it. That will be another video. Maybe I'll do it in the same video. My dad and Quentin learning how to ride the One Wheel Plus. Don't tell Quentin he rules. <laughs> Scuba Steve's comments are golden. I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm going to give two more minutes. I said like five more minutes, eight minutes ago. But I'm glad you brought up Scuba Steve's comments because... He loves reading your guys' comments so much that on all my videos, he like just lives in the comment section. And he started to reply to every single message. And YouTube put him in my spam folder because he, he replied too much. So uh, I had to like call him up and be like, Dad, you have to stop leaving so many messages because people are they're, or they're putting you in the, in the spam folder. Quentin, it's on the screen right now. Of course I can see it. Okay, Quentin, but do you want to write it is what I'm asking. Okay, yeah, it's like, you know, when someone's like, can I see it? It's like, of course you can see it. I mean, like, do you want to write it? It's such a jerk. Do you want to write it, Quentin, yes or no? Scuba Steve's in the house. Look at this. This is like the best live stream ever. You got Quentin and Scuba Steve in the comment section, so make sure you guys uh, troll them in there. Quentin says... I will fall, so yeah, I want to ride it. You're on it, dude. One wheel plus. Oh, it's so it is heavy though. That's the one drawback. You know, I gotta 
I guess if I put it in the trunk of my car, I don't really have to carry it around the course. Uh, a listen... I don't know what that means. He will definitely fall. I think so. Um, did, wait, wait. Do you guys... I, I didn't even look at the comments. Do you want me to open this box back here? If not, I'll just... We'll cover it. Oh, it's not even there. It's not even there. Dad, they don't put training wheels on these things. It's just one wheel. If they, they put training wheels on it, it would just be a tricycle. Open it now. Yeah, let's open it. Why not? I got... 30 seconds. I'll open it in 30 seconds. It's already open. I opened it earlier. This is a club that I had an idea for. A golf shop video. I want to shoot actually with Quentin, who I was going to shoot it last weekend, but he failed on me. So, yeah. Write that in the comment section. It's a steelhead. XR. I have an idea. Regular flex. Ugh. I was getting ready to thank hashtag Chad from Callaway for sending me this, but he sent in a regular flex. Might be a giveaway. Hmm? What do you think? I've never done a giveaway on this channel. This might be the first because this is not my specs, and I'm definitely not giving it to my dad. My wife's pants, these are not, they're just because they're floral doesn't mean they're ladies' pants. They're my pants, Quentin. No, dad, I'm not giving it to you. Giving it to one of my viewers. That's what we'll do. We'll do the first giveaway with this golf club after I shoot the golf shop video with it. So, uh, let's do a quick recap. Oh, no. Hideki. Second place. Luste is in second place. Moving up the leaderboard. I think Hideki is a hard person. If Hideki is within three shots of the lead last day, I think he's, he's going he's gonna to own it. What do you guys think? Hideki, I think his chances are good or not good. Anyway, one wheel plus, baby. I'm so excited. I have waited. These things, okay, let me tell you the true story. Now that we're this late in the video, now I'm like to the, the, the diehard subscribers. I, I wanted to get endorsed by, these, uh, by this company because I think they're a cool company and I think that they're doing something uh, original and I think that they have something very special here. And I contacted them, wanted, I pitched them my ideas as far as I'd like to ride this on my course vlogs and like to know what they would do. Uh, they were like, uh, leave us alone, please stop messaging us because uh, you're a weird person. Uh, I didn't stop and I actually, I sent them like 15 emails and finally uh, I just got, you know it was beyond just ridiculous. I actually wrote them a song. I wrote them an R&B kind of love ballad song, uh, kind of professing what I, you know, my goals and, and how much I love this, uh, this one wheel plus and, and what I wanted to do with it. And, uh, they messaged me back and they're like, listen, we like what you do, but right now we can't make these things fast enough to, you know, even to the people that are buying them. So, uh, buy one, do what you want to do with it. And then we'll see where it goes from there. So, uh, they did contact me. I have been, uh, I've, I've had a couple exchanges with them. And they seem excited, but who knows where it goes. And you know what? I, I'm going to make a music video out of the song I wrote them. So that should be fun. Who's my favorite pro golfer? I like Louis Oosthuizen, but I think I, I like him just because of his, I just love his swing. I'm in love with his golf swing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys follow the comments, uh, but Scuba Steve just wrote that if he rides this around Beverly Hills, he's going to have to wear a life jacket. <laughs> You're not riding this around Beverly Hills. Not mine. You can ride yours because it will go in the pond uh, if you're riding it around there. I'm not giving Scuba Steve the three wood. He Actually, he doesn't need it anyway. <laughs> a little one wheel golf. So uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this, you know, if you want to check out One Wheel, feel free. Like I said, this is an endorsement, but I think they are a very cool company. I think they're doing great things. Uh, one Wheel Plus, go check them out. I believe it's just One Wheel. Just Google it. You guys know how to find things better than I can explain it. So uh, I'll do some episodes on how to, uh, how you know, just me writing this and hopefully include it just in my regular vlogs. I don't want to feature it in vlogs. Just kind of be like, hey, it may look like I'm hovering right now, but I'm not. I'm riding a One Wheel. I should, is there a way to block my dad out of this? No. Okay. But anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll post this video 
uh, you know, midway through. Who do you think's got it? I think, you know, I think Spieth is still a, a decent pick, but I think Hideki is, he's scary good right now. He's scary good. Nice, just got notified at end. Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry. Daniel, I hope that me saying I'm sorry makes up for the fact that uh, you got the notification late, and I wish you could have been here because your comments mean a lot to me. What's some of my one wheel just have been... St <laughs> Quentin, you did not get a one wheel and it got stolen. Don't spread that rumor. I didn't order you one. I This was not given to me. I paid for this. And I'm not buying you a one wheel. You can't even show up for our golf shop videos. Okay? Da my dad... You guys read his comments. He just wrote more Scuba Steve. <laughs> He's not... This is such... This is a shameless self-promoter don't hash don't start that hashtag i swear okay all right i'm going because this is every time he joins the stream it just turns into the scuba steve show uh <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate everything we just hit 15,000 subscribers if you didn't watch my last video not many did because it was kind of it was kind of just thrown together at the last moment but uh thank you guys if you're a new subscriber to the channel thank you so much for checking it out i appreciate everything uh i will definitely be riding this thing very soon can you see it it's very cool looking all right we'll see you guys thanks for stopping by